Induction, so you can do two can A B duct, right? Five can A B duct, all right, and four can A B duct. Alright. So let's do let's do five. Alright? Good. So what I'm gonna be is over the dorsum of the MCP joint, okay, for my axis. I'm gonna line up along the metacarpal, okay, the fifth metacarpal, the dorsum of the fifth metacarpal, and then I'm gonna be over the proximal phalanx, the dorsal dorsum of the proximal phalanx of the fifth. Alright? And I have zero to thirty degrees of abduction. Wow. Okay? And then we want to make sure she's got zero, right? And she does. She can come back to the neutral position. All right, good. So if we're doing MCP, let's do, let's do thumb MCP. So, right, we do some gross range of motion, right, just to make sure she's had some thumb motion, okay? So then I'd have her band, good, her thumb MCP, okay? I line up, axis is over the MCP. So you can see how these longer sorts of things can sometimes throw you off. See how it's kind of throwing me off here? So if I go this way, okay, then I have less that's getting in the way of what I'm doing, all right? And then I can measure her thumb. Good, is that as far as you can go, man? Good. Okay, good. All right, and I have 60 degrees, okay, of MCP flexion at the thumb, all right? So you could measure again, you know, the MCP at, at the finger, at the first index finger would be the same way, all right? So again, you could use long, okay, this way, but again, I kind of like to keep that out of the way, all right? And we get right over the joint, and then we can measure, okay, MCP flexion. And then if we look at extension, okay, so remember, we can't measure it with this, right? It doesn't go that far. All right, so we may have to use, you know, if we're really interested in the extension, okay, we'll use the longer one, okay, and she's got about eh, 12 degrees of extension. 